Hey everyone and welcome to the Primitive Lifeways channel on YouTube. I'm so glad you can join me here today. In a previous video, I took you step by step in how to create this jar using a native Wingfield clay type gathered locally here in central Arizona. In this video, we'll not only revisit previous footage in taking you step by step in the construction of this vessel, but I'll also show you how to fire it in an outdoor setting using locally gathered vegetable material. So stick around, I'll be right back with you. We got a great show coming up.
you just saw how to make this Oya. Right now we are out of fire restrictions. So I'm going to take this over where it's a bit safer to fire and I'll show you that process right now. So we'll turn this raw clay into a ceramic. Okay, so I'm at my location. Instead of doing a pit firing where I dig a shallow pit and fire in oxidation, I'm actually going to oxidize right on the surface. It's quite wet outside. So as you can see, I have a preliminary fire started and I'm just drying everything out, the kiln furniture right now, and then we'll bring in the pots. So the reason you wanna move your vessels closer to the fire at this stage is because if there's any residual moisture left in the clay, this will help burn it out. If I take the vessels and dump it right in the fire, that could cause cracks and explosions. So we'll just let this do its thing and rotate the vessels as this process goes along. So we got pots warming on the coals right now. We're just setting them in place. We got our kiln furniture already set. I got a couple of these mugs here. I got a bowl. I got some pipes. I got a painted pipe here. Jeff's got this jar and a bowl behind all this stuff here. And yeah, we're just setting it in. This is a good stage. You know, you're almost to the firing. It's a pretty good feeling, but but yeah, we want to leave the pots on these uh, on these coals for quite some time. You know, to really make sure that they warm up properly. And we might stack some wood around this um, to really build up the heat. Uh, we got our cover sherds for um, a couple of the pieces, and yeah, we're just gonna stack them up on top of the coals and go from there. One way you can tell if the pots are ready for the primary firing is if you spit on them or flick moisture and they sizzle. They are sizzling a little bit, but they need more time. Nice and hot. <laughs> a lot hotter than these Prescott clays. Yeah. The Prescott clays, I don't worry about. No, no, those can fire a little bit lower. Yeah. Yeah, it's already starting. Okay, so we have the wood stacked up. Everything's looking good at this time. We just let the fire do its thing and turn these vessels into a fire-hardened ceramic. So dry's gonna be good. See that? Oh shit, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Did you oil that up? Didn't oil it, but I... That looks good. Yeah. Looks like it's been oiled. Oh, interesting. Yeah, no, it's just the snake skin. This is the rest of the snake skin. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, thank you. That looks really cool. Nice. The fire burned down and I'm left with a hot bed of coals. I have a nice ring to this jar. Beautiful colors, a nice brown orange color with gray fire clouding but I don't wanna pull this jar off quite yet because if I do, it's so hot, it could crack from the stress. So I'll leave it on for another few hours and I will be right back. I pulled away some of these coals to help these pots cool down. It's actually been a couple hours and they're still warm. 
really nice ring. Once again, a nice ring. I got the colors that are desired. And when you fire on the surface, you can see how orange these pots turn. That's the iron in the clay. Here are my pots off the fire. You can see they turned out very nice. Beautiful ring to them. The only thing about this pot is when I took it off the coals, I hit the bowl and it created a small chip. Just a very small blemish, but beautiful colors throughout. All right, everyone. So that's just about going to wrap up this video on making and creating a Wingfield Plainware jar. I'm super excited about the results. As you saw, we created a nice, durable, fire-hardened ceramic. It's nice and thin, and I put it to use already. It holds just about a gallon of liquid material, so I plan on using this in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, help us out. Click the thumbs up button, subscribe to the Primitive Lifeways channel on YouTube, and share this video throughout social media. It really helps us to grow, expand, and most important, to hit a wide, diverse audience. Once again, I'm Jeff with PrimitiveLifeways.com, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.